Alright, so let's start at the beginning. In the beginning, there was a cube. The cube, invented by Marcus Persson in 2009, is a fairly basic shape. It has no curves, no overhangs, no cavities, no nothing. However, that doesn't have to be an issue. In fact, its simplicity is one of its many strengths. To see why, let's place some more cubes. So, now we have 3x3x3 three by three by three cubes, which is 27 in total. But the end result is also a cube, wouldn't you say? I mean, I can't tell the difference between the before and the after. If we keep repeating the step, then nothing really changes. If you stack enough cubes, you get another cube. Simple as that. In some ways, you could call a cube a fractal, which is a shape that consists of smaller parts that resemble the shape itself. So, let's make this a little more interesting. We're going to keep stacking cubes, but for every iteration, we're going to remove all the cubes in the center, like this. Okay, so now we can start stacking cubes again. Except this time we're not stacking cubes, we're actually stacking a shape that's a little more interesting. It seems this time the resulting shape is different compared to the initial shape. Now let's remove the shapes in the center again and let's proceed with the stacking. As you can see, every single iteration makes the shape look more detailed and elaborate. Now let's do this one more time. Remove the shapes in the center and keep stacking. Oh and this time I just skipped the center once directly to save some time. Anyway, if you keep repeating this an infinite amount of times, then you get a shape that's called a manger sponge. The manger sponge was invented by Carl Manger in 1926, and I'm not joking this time. This shape is also a fractal, as mentioned before, because it consists of self-similar parts. But it's a much more interesting fractal than a cube, because this time the shape actually changes every single iteration. A while ago I was looking at the shape and I was thinking, what can I do to make this even more interesting? Or maybe even... Um... Fascinating. Thought provoking? Then it hit me. I decided to turn this thing into a pyramid. To start, let's squeeze it like a lemon. And just like that, we're already halfway there. The shape is squeezed until the top plane is exactly one third the size of the bottom plane. This will be important for later. Then let's make an identical copy of this shape. Let's make it a little smaller and place it on top of the original shape. Now the copy is scaled down by a factor of one third, which makes it fit exactly on top of the original, without any visible seams or gaps. Now just as before, we can start repeating these steps. Make a copy, make it smaller, and place it on top of the previous one. Rinse and repeat. It keeps going, it keeps going, it keeps going. There's nothing holding it back. If we had an infinite amount of time on our hands, the final outcome of this process... The Manger Pyramid. What makes this shape especially interesting is the fact that you can zoom in on it forever, if you look at it from above. See for yourself.
That's all for now. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, be sure to like, comment and subscribe. If you're interested in things like geometry, math, art and programming, you'll probably like my channel. Although at the time of uploading, my channel is pretty barren, so stay tuned for more. If you'd like to support me, you can do so at ko-fi.com slash bauxite, or you can click the link in the description. I don't like getting personal, but I'm recovering from a bad case of COVID, so I still have some difficulty with breathing and talking. My insurance doesn't cover all my medical bills, and I don't really have an income right now, so any support is appreciated. Thanks.